Right, we're on. Good morning. What a cracking morning it is here in Scotland. Let's get rid of the slice, the over the top, that motion where the hands go out towards the golf ball. Let's remove that today with one simple drill. That's going to reduce the axis of the golf ball being tilted. It's going to reduce the left to right ball flight for right-handed golfers. We're going to hit more fairways and we're going to hit the ball further. So how is that possible? I hear you cry. Well, pretty simple really. There's a lot of chat online on how to lower the shaft on the backswing or how to drop the shaft behind you, but there's nothing that really talks about how to feel it, what you can do to, to create the motion, to make it repeatable, so it's something you can actually do on the golf course. But the drill also has to go on the golf course with you, so at the times when things aren't going too well, you can simply regroup, do the drill, hit the ball straighter and further. Right, before we start, if you like the content I bring to you on this channel, please subscribe, it's free of charge, of course. Also hit the bell notification, which gives you instant notifications of all my videos. And the thumbs up button, that clicks it around and shares it around YouTube, and that's, that's a win for everyone. Let's do the video, shall we? So address golf ball. I mean, out to in, the hands coming out towards the golf ball, therefore we cut across the golf ball, tilts the axis. There's no such thing as side spin, it's all back spin, so the axis of the golf ball that it spins around tilts and it spins around that axis and of course the ball loses to the right. So we have to try and find a way to get the club to prevent it going out there, sure the club comes down here more, to hit more from inside to outside to keep that ball straight. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Address position, up the top of the swing, we want the club head to fall down behind us and not pitch high. If I pitch high here on my way down you can see the club shaft dissects, my neck cuts my head off. I want to be there so the club dissects the middle of my body and chops me through there. Up the top of the swing, there. Now I want to take my right hand off and then let the club shaft fall onto my fingers and support it with my right hand, with the fingers of my right hand. It's up to there and supporting it and then as I come down I can feel the right hand supporting the golf shaft or the club shaft. Now the left hand's lost a little bit of pressure to feel that, but look what gravity does. If I err on this side, if you like, gravity wants it to fall behind me. So gravity wants the club head to fall behind me, so I need to use that, let's use the gravity. If I get to the top of my swing there, and I grip tighter and harder, then I'm pulling, I'm preventing the gravity doing its thing, and I'm pulling the club towards me, I'm pitching the club upright. So therefore, from that vertical position, there's only one way I can go, and that's down and across the golf ball. Not what I want, I want to be there, let gravity do its job, and then from there I can just swing round in what feels like a circle. Up to the top, hand off, feel it, back down. So now the club head is behind me when the club shaft gets to parallel. Then from there I can just spin the club out towards the golf ball. So in slow motion I'd be up here, I'd get to there, gravity, down, clubs behind me there, and then swing out towards golf ball. But we really need to do the drill to understand and feel how it works. That's the most important thing. We have to make sure we use the fingers in your right hand to let the shaft fall onto to feel the gravity. Because without that feeling, that sensation, we'll never get it. So it's muscle memory. We have to go up and think, okay, how, how did the left hand feel in order for that to fall back? Well, I got to the top of my swing. I then let gravity set the shaft on my right fingers, or fingers on my right hand. And look what happened to the left wrist. It started to bow slightly and the palm started to point towards the ground or lower slightly. So that was an action of gravity doing its thing there. Up, feel it, down to there. Up, feel it, down to, not just down to there because the club's too far behind me, but if I turn my body there, now the club's good to go. So I have to feel the whole drill. Up, gravity, down and round. Up, gravity comes down as the body goes round. Up, down and round. Up, gravity, down and round. You'll feel a softening of the left hand, softening of the left wrist and softening of the left forearm because you're allowing the club head to fall behind you. So let that happen. Let the grip pressure be nice and light. The lighter the grip pressure, the heavier the club head, so it feels more sluggish. Gravity is going to work. And the more you'll feel the club head through impacts, so you're able to release it a lot better because you're coming a little bit more from the inside now. We're no longer over the top. So little short shots, little soft ones. Now we have to do this with both hands on, obviously. Up, feel. Up, feel. Up, feel. So up, feel turn. Making that all one motion. Again, up, feel and turn. 
peel and turn, little draw, therefore pass into out. Doing this on a tee to begin with. Hold on. That grass is soaking and very sandy. Okay. Here we go. So I'm up. There. Up. Gravity turn. Up. Gravity turn. Just little ones. Up. Gravity turn. Up. Gravity turn. Good again. Another little draw. Again, up. Grip pressure's mega light. I feel as though I'm doing this. Now I know I'm not doing as much as that, but I certainly am getting the club behind and feeling the gravity do its job. So there, gravity, there, gravity. Again, these are all going exactly the same place. And that's the key, it's getting consistency, getting into out path to get that little draw. We're no longer over the top, the hands are not leaving the body, the club head is not pitching or the shaft is not pitching, everything's behind me. Or it certainly feels as though it is. Okay, I'm going to line myself up a little bit better here this time. A little bit further right than where we were before. There, gravity. There, feel that. There, feeling that. Two hands on, there, feeling that. There. Feeling that, there, feeling that. So I did more speed and more power to it and a lot further, that was good. And just for the record, because somebody will mention it's going nowhere near that flag up there, but I ain't aiming for that flag. I'm just hitting in one direction, there, 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 up, gravity, round, up, gravity, round. Feel that up, there, up, there. There, I feel the club falling behind me. I'm going to exaggerate this one. Up. Good, eh? I'm going to do one more. So on this one here, I'm going to go more full shot. I'm going to really exaggerate it. I want to feel that. You just draw every time now. Really good. Again, mega exaggeration to feel. Good, all in the same direction. Then in the golf course, if things aren't going well, because what do we do? Of course, we freak out and we grip tighter. We get there and we, oh, we grip tight, and of course, we're cutting across, we have to do the drill. And that's the beauty of it on the golf course, you can do that. It's a drill that you can feel immediately, but you have to slow it all down, you have to rein it all in for it to happen. And so, to rein it all in, light grip pressure. Up, feel that gravity there. Look what the left wrist's done. Left forearm is soft to there. Club's behind me. It feels as though it's definitely behind me at first parallel there, or last parallel before impact there, because I've used gravity. At impact is what you want to feel. But even if you're not there and you're slightly outside, it's much better than coming across this way. Oh, I just left the best to last. So there you are, little recap. That is how you use gravity to help your downswing, to prevent you coming over the top and prevent that shaft pitching too steeply. I think I've explained that quite well. So I'll see you in the next video.